I'm just gonna go on the safe side with the respirator and the okay. gloves. You know me, I don't need any of that. I'll probably be touching things you don't want me to touch. Uh, yeah, just don't touch me. <laughs> hey, wait. Hmm, ooh. Hmm, I'm gonna open a window. It's very aromatic in here. So, there were cats. Oh, oh there we go, a little cross ventilation. Okay. But this is, this is a living room. This is a something. I mean, that's actually not a bad place for a coat closet. Someone's bedroom. There's like guinea pig poop or something. I'm excellent with feces identification. Rats. Rats? Yep, too big for this mice. This is an adult diaper. Yep, it's not very attractive. We'll open these up. Okay. Public space. Public space. And then put all the bedrooms in the back. Well, yeah, I'd probably in the addition. That's what I mean, in the addition. Yeah. Okay, I think kitchen-esque. So this is where the shed addition starts. Yeah. So probably all of this Take will come this off. off. Yeah. And this will just all be gonzies. Well, well this will be all two-story addition. Two so story. this will be first floor bedroom. Yeah. Probably pop another bedroom on top of it. Washer, dryer, bathroom. There's more poop. That is not rat. That's raccoon. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What's in there? It's just the toilet's nasty. Ooh, yeah, it is a little nasty. Yeah. It's got a decent backyard. Oh, are you kidding? This is great. Yeah. I feel like our addition's probably gonna come out on this slab this somewhere. Yeah, the slab's probably gone. Yeah, maybe even the whole slab. So that leaves us a really nice little yard. Okay, I'm good with that. Go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Okay. I think we could probably keep the stairs in the same spot, don't you think? Uh-huh. Maybe raise this up a little. And it's this is fine for us, but not for anyone else. And it's gonna be tricky to get furniture up here. So, yeah, the front is two stories, and then our addition can be full height walls yeah. and then go up. Here's our second bedroom. Do we need a dormer in this room? No. We're okay? Yeah. I think we just need to move the door to the middle and then we're fine. So we'll need to power wash and repaint the brick and we've got to lose the old addition and build a new two-story addition that'll give us the space to add a master suite and a half bath downstairs and a new bedroom and bathroom upstairs, giving us a total of three bedrooms and two and a half baths. This one was around 40,000. Got a little more there. Yeah. Um, I got a shower at home, I'll be okay. And even though the house was fairly inexpensive, we'll need at least 160,000 for the renovation. So we're gonna be all in at about 200,000. But I think we can list it for around 265 because even though Bates Hendricks is up and coming, this block hasn't quite turned around yet. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, look at the roaches crawl. Uh. Ooh, those roaches are no joke. Oh, the amount of, seriously? There are so many bugs in this house. There's lots of bugs outside, too. Yeah, there's cockroaches in the house. There's something I don't know what it is in the house. What is that? I don't know, but I hit it. Oh, that's a horse fly. Oh, those things hurt. They hurt. Uh, I wish you could have seen Austin dancing. Ah! I'm leaving. <laughs> Um, he's scared of butterflies, so I feel like horseflies fall into that category. Have you been looking for the thing that I want to save? Oh, you're right. Uh, would it happen to be this mirror? Oh, that's a nice mirror. Yeah, save that, but no. There was the free lunch on the line of what in the house Karen would possibly want. Surely it's not dog food. No, no. I don't typically eat lunch, but <laughs> I do like I do like winning. At our Minnesota Street House, we've installed the foundation for our new two-story addition. And we're starting to get it framed in, and Mom and Tad are framing up the new office space. Damn, Mama Chick. Woo! All right, here we go. We are the champs! The whole time we've been doing this, I've been looking at this wall. Yeah. So this is now an interior wall. It's a really interesting interior wall. Right, what if we pressure washed it, Yeah. cleaned it all up, sealed it, and kept it natural brick? 
What do you think? I think so. I think it's going to come I always like when we easily. have exposed brick in the house. Yeah. We did a brick house before, and I really wanted to expose the brick on the inside because it's so beautiful, but then there's is, no insulation. Yeah. We have an opportunity in this house to expose some brick because an exterior wall is now becoming an interior wall. So the challenge always is, is getting Mina on board. This doesn't look like it's hanging on that tightly. No, yeah. See, I feel like we can get this off. See what you can achieve, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll be able to report to Mina. Hey, it comes right off. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Walls are up. We wrapped the new addition, installed the roof, and we're putting up board and bat and siding, which I think is going to complement the existing brick really nicely. But marrying the new stick construction with the old brick is going to be tricky when it comes to the insulation. We'll need to match the temperature between the old house and the new addition. Oh, OK. Here. In order to cut the space for the new door, we've got our giant concrete saw. And then comes the fun part. Get it, girl. Get it. Woo! Get it. Clean up. Pounding through a brick wall is good for the soul. I should do this every day. And I definitely think moving the entrance closer up to the street gives it much more curb appeal. And as soon as we add the porch, it is just going to be so cute. So cute. Look at our door. It's so pretty. I love it. We've been waiting so long. Oh my goodness. Good job, team. All right, now we've made a hole. Just got to close it back up. No big deal. Our brick house is coming along. The new door is installed, and the pergola is up in the backyard. And in the kitchen, the cabinets are going in. Those little nooks by the windows are going to be so inviting. And their soup's cute. And I'm not going to sit on it because it can't probably support <gasps> me yet, but aren't A those better cute? place for me to sit and drink rosé. Or you could put, like, cookbooks or, like, I mean, they're just super cute. In keeping with our vintage modern theme, we're taking some of our lower cabinets and turning them into window seating. So we're combining this functional storage element with a really cool look, and hopefully buyers will appreciate that. It's going to be the cutest little place to sit. It's adorable. You know, honestly, because the window's still so deep, we could have, like, cookbooks or whatever there, yeah. and then the little bench part and in you know the what would make it? We should get some little feet for it. You Ooh. going to get some feet? I didn't bring my measuring tape. How much room do I have? Five inches? Yeah. OK. Do you, um, I have marble. Do you want to put marble in there? Uh, that would be lovely if you can find someone to cut marble that you aren't buying from them. I can cut it. I have a wet saw. All right, sure. Cut some marble. Put it there. OK. One step in the right direction. Get some cutesy bun feet for that. Yep. Cool. Let's get out of here. Let's roll. This house is making me so happy. We're getting really close to the end over at our little house on Minnesota. And Mom and I put in a brand new front porch deck to make it feel cozy and charming, like it would have felt when it was built back in the 1800s. And on the inside, our clean white quartz countertops are being installed. And our grayish brown flooring is going down, which adds a rustic antique charm to the house. So it's better to do a strong black outline of the black things and then paint over the whole thing with gray. You'll still see the black. And this is just going to be like very however kind of you want to do it. This is you, girl. Like... The racing photos that we found were too small to enlarge. Head, head, head. Yep. Uh, this One, is why I two. build houses. So mom's come up with this cool idea to project them onto canvas and then paint them. The photos will end up being a little impressionistic, but we are going to have inexpensive wall art. And then you have some trees back here. Look at you getting your creative juices flowing. How's this feel? I feel like it's going to turn out real bad, <laughs> but, you know. Don't quit your day job, Mina. <laughs> I'm glad I made you do this. OK. Me too. Voila! Ta-da! Oh, right, I have to sign turn it. on the lights. How do you feel? It's abstract. Yay! This is what we're calling art and hanging on the wall? Yep. <laughs> Done. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> And it matches you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you channeled the house today. Good job.
So before, you couldn't even, I don't even know what was happening. You didn't know there was a fence there until we right. started demo day. My sister Steph and I spent hours taking down this wall of junk trees that had woven into the chain link fence. And I mean, they were almost to the height of the house. It was pretty impressive. And then the whole way down the back fence was like that. So just taking that down was a dramatic before and after. Yeah, yes. that's great. Everything Absolutely. else is just on top. The trees up front, amazing. They are Taylor junipers, which are evergreens. They grow in a columnar shape, and they have a really pretty blue-green foliage color that goes really well with the house. And that's... I like the porch. Oh, you like the porch? Yeah, the porch is great. We spent a lot of time out there. So you want to go check it out? Let's yeah. Check out the All right. inside. All right. Come on in. Whoa. Wow. I mean, the this? light in here is wonderful. She said this. <laughs> I love it. The light's fantastic. Everything. So originally, you walked in, and there was a door kind of right where these French doors are. And you were in a really, really sad, gross, dirty living room. <laughs> and that was a really, really sad, gross, dirty bedroom. So really? yeah, opened it all up. Um, we did keep all the windows where they are. They worked yeah. for the house, and yeah. this is brick. Okay. And so changing windows in a brick wall. It's a little more tricky. It's a lot. We took the original front door, we cut this new one out, which okay. was a labor of love. <laughs> um, but we made it pretty grand with the transom above it to kind of like make your eyes go up all the way, make it feel a little bit brighter and bigger. Right, very regal, I think. All right, yeah. you want to take them into the kitchen? So because we kept the original windows, it created this really cool detail in the front. I feel like we should sit over here. We're just gonna pop a squat in the window seat. Sit next to me. It's where the cat'll be for sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. This was just a bedroom, so we pulled the kitchen from the back and brought it up to the front, so now it's all nice open concept. Living room, bedroom now, living room, kitchen area. You've got your eat-in kitchen here, which, as you can see, I mean, you've got way more room, so if you wanted to do a bigger round table, yeah. you could get six people around it, probably. We did double-stacked cabinets all the way up to the ceiling. That little, do you like gold? Yeah. Okay, good. You're my Okay, then you can live here. You, you can live like here. Gold. We don't want to be your friend. No. Just with a little bit of gold jewelry on the poles, but with a really, really clean, traditional subway backsplash. Yeah white countertops, so it's all just very crisp and light because it's not a huge space. Yeah. What do you think? I like the cabinets a lot, and I just like how everything's really moderate. Yeah? Yeah. So what grade are you in? Sixth. Sixth? Do you have a lot of homework? OK, well, we have a really cool space, um, a little office off the side that I want to show you guys next that I think will be perfect for your studies. Take this a look. Way. And this is your new study area. Great. Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah, the accent wall is wonderful. That's the original brick that was on the outside of the house. Okay. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. like we wouldn't get about that. <laughs> we would not. And getting that cleaned off was a labor of love. I was here after hours all by myself with a heat gun and a scraper. Yeah. Heat gun and a scraper. And I got That's it. That's the only way to do it. Yep. So this is part of the new addition. It's two stories in the back, and then it also wraps around to this side to create this space. So you have a nice office. <laughs> but it's really cool, because it doesn't feel tiny, because there's so many windows yeah. in it. You know what else is exciting? It's your master bedroom on the back. So take them back that way. See it. All right, so here's your master bedroom. Whoa. And this is all new addition. It's so open. <laughs> so originally there was a shed addition back here that had the kitchen and a really scary bathroom right there. So we tore all that off. And then this is the new two-story addition that has your master bedroom, bathroom, and a really big walk-in closet. 